disgust to be faint. Hello. Hi. We meet twice in one day. It must mean something, wouldn't you think? I think they call it kismet. I'm sorry, I, I, I've forgotten your name. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Tanya. Yes. <laughs> Tanya. Are you here with people? People? No, no people, just me. How about you? I'm alone, too. Well, maybe we could do something about that. Well, like what? Team up and sit together? Sure, why not? Please. So, how was your first day back? Oh, busy, busy. Very, very busy. The office was a madhouse. <clears throat> I have a month's worth of work to catch I up on. I spent the whole day thinking about you. Me? Cass Winthrop. Well, that's very flattering, Tanya. But why? I believe in chemistry, Cass. I felt it when we first met on the plane, and, and then I come in here and you're eating alone. Kismet and chemistry. An unbeatable combination. Will you have something to eat? I have a friend who traveled 2,000 miles to meet a man she'd only seen in a picture. They were married one week later. Oh, that's a cute story. It's a true story. A true romance. I'll have whatever you're having. I've already eaten. Surely you've left some room for dessert. The fact is, um, I've been lonely a lot of my life. How about you? Uh, not a lot of my life, but some of my life has been lonely. Like now? Now? I know you're a very lonely man, Cass. I know this is going to sound very forward, but I really think it can work because fate has been so much a part of our meeting. I'm going to ask you a question. <clears throat> Would you like to spend some time with me tonight? Would you like maybe just for this one night to forget how lonely you are? So what do you say, Cass Winthrop? I don't know, Tanya. Listen, you're lonely, and I'm very lonely. Maybe we could change that just for one night. I'm not sure it's such a good idea. Why not? Give me one good reason, and I'll leave right now. Oh, there are many reasons. I'm listening. Well, there have to be many reasons. <laughs> Your place or mine. What are we waiting for? My place. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Must have quite a view. 360 degrees. <laughs> Does the bedroom have a view? Um, as a matter of fact, it does. From the bed? Well, if you must know, the... <laughs> The bed tilt and you can see it all. <laughs> the bed tilt, I love it. Great view. Bed that tilts. <laughs> it's got everything. Yeah. Everything. Wrong key? No. No, it's the right key. Something the matter? I think you're a very beautiful and very desirable woman, Tanya. Kind of crazy about you too, Cass. But we have a basic problem here. We do? I like you, uh, very much. But I'm afraid you came into my life at the wrong time. I don't believe in right times or wrong times. Just... Maybe it would have been fate some other time. 
Maybe sometime in the future, I'd accept this and we'd be great together. <laughs> I'd be willing to bet that we could be great right now. No. No. I keep thinking about someone else. That uh, woman you told me about, the one in Malibu? Kathleen, yes. It's something I just can't put behind me. I... I'm sorry. If you don't mind, I'd like to take you home. Yeah. Why is it the ones that are so nice are so in love? Maybe it's because the ones that are so in love are different. Well, Cass, why don't you take me home? Maybe I can get you to check out the view in my bedroom.